Izaz Azha, Principal Clarinet of the Orchestra Symphony Remaja. Welcome to my tutorial video on the clarinet. In today's video, I'm going to talk a bit about the clarinet and I'm going to focus on a topic called tone. Now, tone is the sound produced when you blow through your instrument. And this is what you will call well, your tone. <laughs> So anyway, there are many different types of tones, and different tones are used for different uh, styles of music. In this video, I'm going to go over a classical tone, and how to produce a good classical tone, well, only to a certain extent. So let's start with a few tone builders. Now, tone production, uh, there are two parts to it. One is by the embouchure, how you form your mouth and your lips. And the second part is actually the most important, is your breathing. Now when you blow, don't use your chest. What you're doing is you want to use your diaphragm. You see, when I take a breath, what actually expands is not my lungs, it's not my chest. It is sort of my stomach if I take a breath. See? In. Out. My lungs are not expanding. I'm not... Because when I use my lungs, I will have very limited breath pressure, very limited volume. With a diaphragm, you can push much more. A bit into this later on. So, once you get... Uh, your breathing, right? Once you get your embouchure, right? Then it is time to define what is a good tone. We are looking for a very round, a very full tone, especially in classical music for the clarinet. I will take a G major scale, for example. throughout the register, we have a strong fundamental tone, meaning to say the G is very, very well defined. And intonation as well, that means um, the distance between the pitches is also very well defined. I'm going to take you all through a few basic tone builders on how to build your tone. When you build your tone, you are going to run through a lot of scales, a lot of arpeggios, and an exercise called long tones. Long tones are when you pick a note and you hold it for, well, a certain amount of time. In this case, I'm going to hold it for 8 beats, very slow 8 beats. I'm going to hold this C, no, this middle C. 1, 2, 3, go. Within these 8 beats, you heard that C tone. It is actually quite stable. So there's no wavering up, no wavering down, there's no bending here, bending there. There's no uncertainty of direction of the tone. It's a very, very full, it's a strong, stable tone. I wouldn't say it's the best tone in the world, but it's there anyway. So this was a C note. If I were to hold a low G note, you see, it's very resonant, very resonant, and this will contribute to a full tone. When you play your long tones, you are actually training your diaphragm to breathe, and you are getting familiar with the fundamentals of your, inst of your instrument. Another very good tone builder exercise is something called, um, what's it called again? I think it's, you play on the harmonics of the clarinet. In this example, I'm going to finger a low G, I'm going to slur up to a high D using the speaker key, and I'm going to open one of my fingers here. It's called a half hole fingering. Watch out for the middle finger. Yeah. And this will open up the, the second harmonic, I believe. I'll just show you an example. So I've gotten three harmonics. I've got the first fundamental tone, the second twelve. And I've got the other fourth, the fourth harmonic by opening this finger here. And when you control this, this exercise, once you can do it well, then you will notice more even throughout the register of the clarinet. If I take it from the lowest note, we take it from E. Here 
downwards, you're gonna use your index finger. E. Oh, sorry, A. Bit of control issues. B. So you see you get a bunch of different harmonics and when you practice this over and out, you'll get the hang of getting good tone. Next, yeah, up in long tones is, well, more long tone practice. Take a tone, take a note for example, we'll take this low E and we're going to give a full tone. Give me a full breath, we're going to take it one step at a time. Then, fire the same thing to G. I mean to see. And so on and so forth. It is important for you to be aware of what you are playing when doing this exercise because be aware of how the tone sounds like. Is it a good tone? Is it a full tone? Is it a round tone? Or is, is there a strong fundamental sound? And so be aware of all of these when we're practicing and try to get uh, that tone that you want, that tone that you feel is very resonant, is very full, and try to consistently reproduce it. Remember what's going on in your mouth when you, when you blow. How, how are you breathing in your diaphragm? How much breath are you using? How much emotional control you're using? So these are all very important things. Well, having said that, I wish you the best of luck in achieving the tone that you want. Remember, practice makes perfect. And visit our site, mamatravel.com.my for more information. Together, we make music education accessible to everyone. Have a nice